Welcome to Gang Hood Politics. In this episode, I'll be discussing the war between the Black Peace Stones and the 18th Street Gang. The Black Peace Stones were originally founded in Chicago in the late 50s by a man named Jeff Ford. The late T. Rogers moved to Los Angeles in the 1960s in the area known as Baldwin Village. There, he founded LA's chapter of the Black Peace Stones, famously known as the Jungles. The area originally got its name because of the area's beautiful, lush vegetation. However, the neighborhood would soon become synonymous with drugs and crime. Their territory is bordered by Exposition to the north, Jim Gillian Park to the south, Crenshaw to the east, and La Brea to the west. They also have a separate area called the Biddy, which is centered around the Mid-City, Arlington Heights area. 18th Street Gang is a largely Hispanic gang that was founded in Los Angeles in the 1960s. The gang started near 18th Street and Union Ave. It is the largest gang in Los Angeles with an estimated 15,000 members. They have cliques all over LA County, but the notoriety of the gang is based on four distinct barrios, three near downtown Los Angeles, west of the Staples Center, and one in the West Adams area. 18th Street has many enemies, but one of their most bitter rivals have been the Bloods, specifically the Black Peace Stones. Over the years, there has been countless of killings between the two gangs. On the afternoon of September 24, 2006, Cesar Avila was sitting in his car with his wife and two daughters. When Cesar stepped out of the car, a silver four-door vehicle pulled up right beside him. A person in the front passenger seat shouted out, Fuck 18. The passenger shouted out, Black Peace Stones, then pulled out a gun and shot Cesar in the chest and the hand. The passenger then hopped out and fired a third shot into the car, striking and killing Cesar's three-year-old daughter. Jonathan Durrell Banks, a member of BPS, was eventually convicted of the killing of Cesar's three-year-old daughter. About a year later, on September 20th, 2007, Erwin and Mario were driving on West Haven Street, which is in the heart of 18th Street's territory. As he approached Redondo Boulevard, they saw two cars blocking the street and not letting cars pass through. As they tried to back up, they saw three black males get out and approach them. Then all three men started shooting. Erwin put his head down and slammed into reverse. At one point, he looked up and a bullet grazed his forehead. He collided with a couple cars as he was reversing. The Ford Explorer that they were driving was struck 12 times. Mario suffered a bullet wound to his forearm and his stomach. On the same day of the Cesare shooting, at around noon, Victor Campos was standing outside of his apartment building located on Hauser Boulevard and Carlin Street. A silver Impala with two black occupants approached. Victor heard the passenger say, fuck 18th Street, and shot Victor with either a 45 caliber or a 22 caliber handgun. Victor suffered a gunshot wound to the back area of his shoulder. Five days later, after the Cesare and Victor shootings, at approximately 1.46 p.m., shots rang out on the corner of Redondo and West Haven. Witnesses say they seen a car with two black occupants collide into another car and started shooting. The driver of the other car, who was an Hispanic 18th Street gang member, got out and started shooting back. James Fletcher and Jerry Burke, who were both BPS members, were ultimately tried and convicted for the string of shootings that occurred in the 18th Street neighborhood. This is part one of the war between the Black Peace Stones and the 18th Street Gang. If you would like more, please make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Thank you for watching.